uh, today I'd like to show you how you, uh, if you're having problems with uh, Razer Synapse 2 or 3, how you can use an, uh, another software to uh, customize your Razer product. So as you've come to realize, Razer uh, does not uh, provide software for Mac anymore, but there is a solution out there called Razer Mac OS. Uh, I'll provide the link in the description uh, and I'll show you step by step how you can install this and what you can do with it. So when you get to this uh, landing site, you can scroll down to download latest release. And there's also a lot of other information here. Uh, for example, what devices are covered and uh, details about functions. But we want to uh, go to latest releases, uh, scroll down here to Razer Mac OS, uh, the latest one currently is from uh, 2022. We then download uh, that package and as soon as it's downloaded uh, we can we can open it uh, and then we drag that one into our applications uh, so let's see uh, if we do that we then can go to applications um, and open that one as is customary with uh, mac these days a warning will pop up that razor mac os cannot be uh, open because the developer cannot be verified uh, this happens a lot when you don't uh, download apps through the App Store. Uh, it's not necessarily a problem and we can uh, still open the file if we go to privacy and security. Uh, currently we don't see any option here but as soon as we press cancel Razer Mac OS was blocked from use because it's not from an identified developer. We see this pop up and we can decide to open it anyway. We need to enter our password and then press open here. Uh, as soon as we do that, we can open this application uh, and this window will come up. What you need to do is to select your uh, device. You do this from the top right corner here uh, where the uh, mini icon for this app is now present. Here you do pick your device. For me, it's a Razer Death Adder Essential. We can press that one and suddenly we can adjust some settings. For example, we can adjust the color, uh, the DPI, which is important for me, uh, and also specify brightness for the logo or the scroll wheel. There are also additional settings here. Uh, for example, you can choose to not have your color static, but it could be a spectrum or uh, run in a cycle. Uh, please note that some of these preferences don't work on all devices. It depends on if that device uh, allows for it. For example, My Razor Death Adder Essential does not allow for a spectrum. Uh, it ne you need to pick a static color here. Uh, there are also uh, other things to pick from and I would recommend reading the details uh, in the link provided. Uh, I will also provide in the comments all devices that this currently works for. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please make sure to leave them in the comments and I'll try to address them as soon as possible. If this video was helpful to you, uh, please consider leaving a like as it helps the channel. Thank you very much.